Hello everybody, Peter of England here bringing you some news on George Soros. Most of you know him as George Soros. Uh, his uh, previous name was George Schwartz, um, but I call him and have referred to him in the past as George of Soros. Now, uh, there are rumours flirting around the internet, which some of you I am sure have seen. However, um, I have decided to make this video today just to confirm what I knew over a week ago now, uh, that I've been travelling and haven't been able to produce this video. So, for most of you, um, the good news, or should I say the news, is that George Soros is dead. Uh, there are not many people that I would wish dead, but there are many whose obituaries I would like to read. Uh, George Soros, one of the biggest players, one of the biggest destabilizers of uh, the, the world, uh, one of the most influential persons uh, to be able to rig and manipulate the currency markets, destroy sovereign nations, create all sorts of mayhem from Ukraine across through to the UK, through all parts of the world. Um, died, as best I can judge, probably anywhere between the 20th and the 22nd of November. He was due to give a, uh, a speech in the, I think, the Mandarin Hotel in uh, Washington DC on the 15th. That's the last reported sighting and he passed away after having had a heart attack at the age of 86, um, around, as I say, 20, 22nd. Uh, that's reasonably a bit foggy because um, we don't know whether he died exactly immediately or having sustained a massive heart attack, or whether or not um, he lingered for a few days thereafter. Now, uh, in and of itself, you might think, so what, an 86-year-old man dying of a heart attack? However, we have some uh, house cleaning taking place at the moment. There are various factions that are now loose and wanting to see real meaningful changes within the world. And so the cabal, the, the darker forces that are within this, this system of satanic control, this demonic psychopathic marauding around the planet are being removed one by one. Now whether this uh, impetus will pick up over the next few weeks or months prior to um, uh, um, Donald Trump taking office on the 17th of January or not we will have to see. But for now that's the news. Um, the previous news I brought you on Julian Assange has proved to be very accurate, perfectly reliable and as of the moment Julian Assange Supposedly, no one knows where he is, but we know where he is. So, please stay tuned. I'm going to do another video now, a small one, on the uh, situation in India that also transpired around the 9th of November. So, Peter of England, signing off. Thank you.